The main reason hemp is illegal today is because of biomass potential. Rudolf Diesel, the inventor of the diesel engine, designed it to run on vegetable and seed oils like hemp, and in fact, he actually ran his 1900s World Fair engine on peanut oil. The first diesel engine by Rudolf Diesel in 1894 were invented to run on hemp seed oil. Petroleum wasn't synthesized to mimic hemp seed oil for over a decade thereafter. Hemp seed oil was the primary fuel for the automobile for over 30 years after the invention of the first internal combustion engines. Diesel expected that his engine would be powered by vegetable oils including hemp seed and seed oils. Like I said, in the 1900 World Fair, Diesel ran his engines on peanut oil, but later George Schlichten invented a hemp decorticating machine that stood poised to revolutionize paper making. Henry Ford demonstrated that cars could be made of and run on hemp. Ford really recognized the utility of the hemp plant. He constructed a car of it with stiffened hemp fibers. He ran the car on it of an ethanol made from hemp. He knew that hemp could produce vast economic resources if widely cultivated. But evidence suggests that special interest groups that included the DuPont Petrochemical Company, Sec Secretary of the Treasury, Andrew Mellon, DuPont's major financial backer, and the newspaper man William Randolph Hearst mounted a journalism campaign against hemp. Hearst deliberately confused psychoactive marijuana with industrial hemp, one of humankind's oldest and most useful resources. DuPont and Hearst were heavily invested in timber and petroleum resources and saw hemp as a threat to their empire. Petroleum companies also knew that petroleum emits noxious, toxic, byproduct when incompletely burned as in an auto engine. Pollution was important to diesel and he saw his engine as a solution to inefficient high polluting engines of his time. In 1937 DuPont Mellon and Hearst were able to push a marijuana prohibition bill in Congress in less than three months which destroyed the domestic hemp industry. The Virginia Law Review analysis of the 1937 hearings on the marijuana tax described them a near comic example of dereliction of legislative responsibility and a case study in legislative carelessness. It noted that no primary empirical evidence was presented about the effects of the drug, only hearsay and emotional pleas from the Federal Bureau of Narcotics and a few state law enforcement agents. The law was tied neither to scientific study nor to law enforcement need. The legislative review concluded that Congress has been hoodwinked. In that same year, in 1937, DuPont filed its patent on nylon, a synthetic fiber that took over many textiles and cordage markets that would have gone to hemp. More than half of the American cars on the road between 1922 and 1984 were built by General Motors, which guaranteed DuPont a captive market for paints, varnishes, plastic, rubber, etc. The DuPonts were able to use their control of the entire sphere of the auto and fuel industries to keep out incompatible technologies. It made little difference to them that Henry Ford built a hemp model and secretly grew fields of hemp to become independent from the oil industry. He could not keep it up long under the state and federal bans. Petroleum is out of balance. Biofuels are sustainable in balance. In comparison, petroleum is a capital investment and requires the maintenance of market share. The petroleum and petrochemical industries have always wanted to prohibit hemp. The major advantages of natural vegetable oil are high chlorific value, high energy density, liquid in form, and thus easy to handle. When burned, it emits less soot. When burned, it has high energy efficiency. It is neither harmful nor toxic to humans, animals, soil, or water. It is neither flammable nor explosive and does not release toxic gases. It is easy to store, transport, and handle. It does not cause damage if accidentally spilled. Its handling does not require special care. 
it is produced directly by nature it does not have to be transformed it does not have any adverse ecological effects when used it is a recyclable form of energy it does not contain sulfur it does not cause acid rain when used when burned it is neutral in co2 no contribution to the greenhouse effect <laughs>